Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Wool, and in this video we're going to talk about Ensolve's Offset Tool. To demonstrate the Offset Tool, what we're going to do is bring in a cube, and we're just going to make that a slightly more interesting shape. So I'm going to Shift and D to bring a copy of that there, and then we'll select that one, and then Control Shift and Minus to cut that out, just to make this a little bit more interesting. Now the offset function is going to be mostly used when doing something like a subdivision surface. So we're going to prep for that. So I'm going to go into edge mode, alt and four, and we're going to go into end solve. And we're just going to use the join tool to sort out some of these non quad faces. So let's just sort that out there and we're pretty good to go. What I'm going to do is shift and D and bring a copy of that along the X axis. So we've got a copy that we can discuss something about later. So if we select this and press control and three to add a subdivision surface, we can see this gets very messy because we need to add some controlling loops on this geometry. So let's go into edge mode and bring back end solve. So we're gonna to want to have an offset on each of these edges, not the ones that are stopping the ingons, but all of the other ones. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this and there's a slight issue with one of them. It isn't a big issue, but it's one of the major reasons why this tool is really useful. I have spoken about this when I talk about the end suite set of tools, but I wanna talk about it again to make sure everyone's clear about it if you've missed that video. And that is that I could do this instead of using EndSolve just by adding in a bevel. So I'm gonna control and B to add in a bevel. I'm gonna scroll up to put in one controlling loop and then as I do that, I want to change the shape to one. And that's gonna create these perfectly offset edges that's gonna to work to control this. Now, there's an issue with this though. And that is that the bevel tool has a memory to it. So if I go into edge mode here, and then I decide that I don't want to do this with subdivision surface, I just want to do this with a bevel, I can control and B, and it's going to have the same bevel now, annoyingly. It's got my shape of one, I don't want that, I probably want it to be 0 0.5, and then the segments are two, let's just increase that. I should also point out that my bevel is gonna look better than most because this automatically comes in with a sharp for the outer mitre. I really recommend always change that to arc, it gives a much nicer appearance, and then we can shade that auto smooth. So by using a bevel to do this, we've now impeded our ability to do a bevel later, or at least it's taken longer to do the bevel because we've had to change settings. So having a separate tool that's going to be in Insolve that allows us to just select offset and then drag this is going to be a really nice function. It means that once we've done this, if I come back and want to use a bevel on these edges, so let's just select those again, I can control and B and it's not been affected by having to use a bevel somewhere else. So a really, really nice change, I would argue, and a really good tool to have even if it feels relatively innocuous. Now I'm actually gonna undo this because I do want to talk about one other thing as well. And that is that if we come back into EndSolve, we'll notice there's an offset function here on the EndSolve set of tools, but there's also an offset function here on the EndSuite set of tools. Notice that you have access to both of those with EndSolve. It basically gives you three add-ons in one in many ways. So it is an absolute bargain in terms of the tools that you get. Now there is a difference between these and it is a slight difference, but I want you to be aware of it. Using the option in EndSolve, the vertical set of tools, what that allows me to do is while that is still active, I can shift select as many edges as I want and then click and drag to make that work. Whereas this tool here, being part of the end suite, works in a different way. There I have to click on all of them and then I click on this and drag from the tool. And then if I want to do somewhere else, let's say here and here, I have to come back down to the tool again to do that, which is fine, but what's nice about the end solve version is that I can just basically keep this active, click and drag and it's working, and then maybe do here as well, click and drag and it's working. So it kind of depends which one you're gonna use and if you want to use that just once or if you want to use it multiple times. Let's just go to collapse mode and sort that and that one out quickly. Anyway, that's already been covered in other tutorials, but as I said, there is a slight difference between these two offset functions and it's mostly to do with how you want to continue using that tool as you proceed with your modeling. Have a great day, guys.